Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for You. Are you excited to make a sweet treat using frozen bananas and maybe a few other fruits? I know I am. Today you saw we are looking at Yonanas. So let's get right into the review. The directions tell us that when our bananas get this cheetah print on it, it's time to open them up and stick them in freezer bags and then freeze them. So let's do that. We got our bananas in bags and I'm really glad I did this today because this banana actually was rotten half of it and the other ones were getting pretty soft. So there is a fine line of getting the cheetah print on the bananas and being way too overripe. Let's go throw these in the freezer and we'll take them out tomorrow. Here is our Yo Nana's frozen treat maker that I purchased for right around $50. This is the classic version. They also have a deluxe version that retails for about $80. And I think the difference is that motor might be a little stronger. Let's do a quick unboxing. Here's our Yonanas machine completely unboxed. I guess I should have explained what it was. The Yonanas is a healthy dessert maker that really just utilizes frozen bananas and other frozen fruits and such to make a really healthy ice cream like dessert. In the box we have a quick start guide, we have a user manual, we even have a dessert recipe. I'm really excited. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wash this whole thing up, but we have to disassemble it. So we're gonna take the chute here and just make a little tiny turn so it pops out. First thing we do is we remove the bottom cap simply by spinning this off. It just has a few turns and then it is done. And of inside, we have actually this part right here, which is the gasket. And then right here, this gray part is the blade cone. On the blade cone, you actually see some teeth and that's actually what grinds up all the bananas and the fruit inside of the chute. Let's go wash all these pieces to get ready for first use. Everything is washed and dried. I wanted to point this out. It does say this side up right here on the gasket so make sure you install it the correct way. Earlier I forgot to mention the plunger but this is actually what pushes the fruits down the chute. When we're reinstalling of course we just put everything back in the same direction it was when we got it. Last step back in the machine and we are ready to go. Let's go get our fruits and set them out for about 10 minutes so they thaw just a little bit and we'll start making some Yonanas ice cream. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Gotta get the plunger. Looks like some ice cream's coming out. Let's throw some strawberries in. I'm gonna use the plunger backwards. There it goes. All right, now we're gonna get some more bananas. All right, I think that's enough for now. Let's get a closer look. First thing we know is this is almost looks like it's in a ribbon format. It does appear to be the texture of ice cream. I think that's super cool. Let's get a first taste test. I'm gonna get some bananas and strawberries together. I just wanted to give you a close up view of that frozen treat. I will say the first bite was absolutely amazing. I'm a little more partial to the strawberry than the bananas, but together they are delicious. I just wanted to give you a little close up of the ribbon pattern that comes out of the Yonanas. Wow, if you're looking for a nice sweet treat without a lot of sugar and really just fruit, this is actually pretty impressive. I wanna see what it looks like inside here for the cleanup process. As we take it off, we can see some of our ice cream around the gasket. Oh, in there, we gotta scrape all that out now. So tell me, what are your thoughts of Yonanas? Is this something you've tried? Would you be interested? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. This time I wanted to give you a sideways view of the Yonanas as the ice cream material comes out. I will say as I've been using this more and more, I've learned that I should be freezing half bananas instead of whole bananas just so they fit down the chute. And so I've actually broken all the remaining bananas that I have. Now we're gonna make some frozen blueberries in with our bananas to see what kind of a treat comes out the other end. Let's do this. Get the machine on, let's get our banana out, stick it in there. I'm gonna push the uh, plunger down. Add some of our blueberries in there. Make sure we get some more of our banana in there. I did learn that it's best to leave the machine on as you're doing this, so it keeps a consistent mixture. 
And we're gonna spin the bowl around just a little bit so we get some on the other side as well. And I think we're almost done. All right, so let's scrape that away and take a look at our blueberry banana ice cream. You can totally see that it's the texture of ice cream. It looks well mixed. Let's try it. You definitely taste the banana, but the blueberry comes through really, really well. This is a delicious treat. Next up, we are gonna try the sorbet feature. I just took all of the removable pieces out of the dishwasher, so we are all ready to go. I have two cups of, well, frozen fruit. We have strawberries and blueberries, so let's start the process. We're adding in our fruit. We're just gonna mix it in there down the chute. Oh, look, some of that just came right out the end, not even shredded. All right, let's add some more in there. I will say, as I've been doing this, it does take some effort pushing the plunger down. We're just about finishing up our two cups of strawberries and blueberries. I will say this is more icy, probably because it doesn't have the bananas to make it creamy. So this is definitely more of our sorbet. Let me see what it tastes like. Well, I will say it is the exact consistency of a sorbet. It tastes good, but I kind of like the bananas mixed in with it. So I'm gonna try one more thing. The last one we filmed on video was actually the sorbet with the blueberries and strawberries. And although I initially liked the flavor after a little while, I noticed it was more bitter, and I guess that's because we're not adding any sweetener. Also, the blueberries didn't seem to blend all that well. There was some whole blueberries, there was a lot of skin. Anyway, just my observation. For our last one, we're actually gonna do more of a dessert. I've got some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I've got some peanut butter at room temperature, and of course, we have our bananas. We are gonna try to see if this will work. We're gonna start this off by throwing a banana in there. And then we're gonna get another banana with some peanut butter on there. We're gonna get this all mixed up, put it down in the chute, and throw some chocolate chips out in there as well. Here goes nothing. All right, let's see, there it goes. I think starting to come out down there. Looks like we're mixing up some peanut butter in with our bananas. Let's get another banana ready. Right, going down there part of the way, I got stuck and I actually had to pull the plunger back out and reinsert and then it actually came out really well. So I have my peanut butter, I have my chocolate chips. This looks awesome. As I tried some, I noticed it does taste like peanut butter and banana, but the chocolate chips aren't even crushed up at all. They seem like they're the exact same size. Ooh, that was the most difficult one to clean yet. And you know what? I had a really difficult time removing the base cap on this particular cleanup. Anyway, in this video, we've been talking about Yo Nana. So, what do I think about? First things first, that $50 price point is a lot of money. In my opinion, 20 bucks would have been really, really nice, especially since they have an, a higher level one. That's $80. It's just a lot of money for the product that you're getting. Don't get me wrong. It was definitely a sweet treat, but I always like to save some money. I will say at times it was really difficult to push the plunger down. I had to put a whole lot of extra effort and force into it just to get the bananas or whatever the mixture was to actually grind up and come out as you're your Nana's ice cream. Just so you're aware of that, you might have to put some effort, especially if you're using things like chocolate chips or other such items. It is important to note that every creation I made out of the Yo Nana's was absolutely delicious and I enjoyed it. It does take a little bit of trial and error and you learn how many bananas to fruit to whatever you add, but it is actually a lot of fun and you make a nice sweet treat. If you end up getting one of these, I do want to reiterate the importance of using the frozen cheetah print type bananas because what the directions tell us is those kind bring out the extra sweetness because you definitely don't want it to be bland. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I thought it important to point out that sometimes I could not even remove the base cap. It almost was like the fruit was just jammed in there. You couldn't spin it. I ended up having to get a wrench like this just to wrap around the outside to get that extra leverage in order to remove it. I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Yo Nanas. You know what? Not that long ago, I actually reviewed a product called the Frozen Magic, which is when you can take your favorite drink and turn it into an ice cold slush in just a matter of minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, 
by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.